more calibration points with the app. Now currently, the app shows, let me show you, the new Tilt 2 app will show a default one is one, which is what we want. So that's good, let's keep that there. And let's make uh, two other calibration solutions. So the trick with this is to get the right dish. So I have here a small to medium dish. And as you can see here, I'll show you the, the app again here. As you can see here, DSG is showing around 1.07980. So we don't want to make a calibration solution in this dish that is uh, less than that because it'll hit the bottom. So actually what I do want to do is make a calibration solution of 1.120, which is the high end of the curve. So this will work. As you can see, I'm kind of manually holding it here, and you can see it's not hitting. But if I tried doing a, a lower um, level, then it would, it would hit and it wouldn't work. Okay, so now I know this dish will work for the calibration solution that I want to do, which is 1.120. Great. So how do I make the solution? Well, the easiest way is making a solution using granulated sugar, such as CNH Baker sugar. You don't have to use CNH Baker sugar. The nice thing about it is that the granules are small and it does dissolve quickly and it's not dusty like corn sugar. So it is a, a nice sugar to use for calibration. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, make the solution. So how do you make the solution? Well, we have a scale here. Um, I will show you how to make a solution of 1.120 using a scale. So the first thing I'm going to do is dump out the water of the bowl or just store it in another container, dry it out. I'm drying it out right now. There's this bowl, I'm just going to make sure there's no moisture or water anywhere on it. I'm going to turn on my my scale here. Let me see if I can make it so it's easier to read. Um, there we go. That's pretty good. Um, okay, great. I'm going to dry out the scale. I'm going to put this bowl on that scale and then tear. Okay. So now it's showing zero. Great. So how much sugar and how much water? Well, if we're going to make a 1.120 solution, we can convert that into degrees Play-Doh, which is the same as percent sugar or sucrose. So 1.120 is 28% sugar. I was able to find this in a um, standard table or just use the standard calculation. Um, so that means that 28% sugar um, by weight um, needs to be in this bowl. Now, I will show you uh, how much, first of all, how much weight this bowl and water will hold. So let's just fill it up with, you know, not all the way to the top, but pretty close, same, same level you had before. Um, and we have here, I'm actually gonna switch the units to grams. We have 598 grams. Um, or let's say 600 grams. 
Okay, that's how it stabilized. Okay, 598. We'll go with that. So I will get a calculator out and say we're going to make, let's just say we're going to make 600 grams. How much water now do we need and how much sugar? Well, if we are making a 28% solution, that means that 28% of 600 is how much sugar we're going to add. So we do our algebra there. 28% of 600, 168. So we, we want 168 grams of sugar minus 600 and 432 grams of water. Okay, let's just remember that and keep that nearby. So let's do that. I'm going to dump that water out again, dry it out. So now I have, I know the volume will work. I know that the, the weights I have now are clear. So let's um, put this back on the scale. Let's turn this thing back on because it does want to turn off if you don't use it a ton. Okay, now it's showing zero and I'm going to change the units or in grams. I'm going to pair this. Okay, and I'm going to add 168 grams of sugar. Okay, let's go ahead and add 168. Now I'm just slowly keep adding that sugar. Oops, it's a lot. Okay, keep going. 168 is my target. A little further. Okay. Okay. We're now at 168. Add a little more. This goes by two grams, so I'm just gonna add a touch. So there we are, 168. And now we can add the sugar in. So we're gonna to try to bring a volume or weight up to 600. So let me uh, now dump this in. Pouring some water in here and I'm watching the scale increase in weight. Okay, I don't want to overdo it, it's kind of hard to go back. So we're getting close. Just gonna try to take a little out. There we go. Okay. Now I have the ingredients here of a 1.120 solution. I'm going to just stir this sugar solution to, to dissolve. Okay. This is why you want the smaller crystals, because this will dissolve faster than the larger standard crystals. And you won't get any of that dust or caking with the corn sugar. I'm gonna just kind of stir it. It takes a little bit to dissolve.
All right, I'm back. I finished uh, dissolving this, and I've um, now showing you confirming with another instrument. This is a Anton Parr Easy Dense, which is a oscillating U-tube hydrometer, which we use for calibrating our calibration solutions. But you can also use a standard floating hydrometer or whatever you use to um, for your reference uh, for brewing. It could be a refractometer. Uh, you know, if you don't have this, or if you don't have a regular hydrometer, or don't trust your hydrometer, um, I think you can use this um, weighing method alone. Um, you just have to make sure that uh, you do it accurately, as shown. So um, you can see it's off by one point. Um, that's within the range, the accuracy range of this device, plus or minus a point. Um, I could actually put a little more um, sample in there and see if it's just because um, of the previous sample that was in here. Let's see, that looks like it's pretty solid at 119. And actually we did, um, you can see that the resolution on the scale was not quite good and uh, we actually could have put a little more sugar in. Uh, so a, a more precise scale would, would help. Um, although you, you do want to look at what the maximum weight of the scale that you're using has and um, the size of the, the, in the, the dish that you're using, the volume that you're using. So um, you gotta kinda keep that in mind as well. I'm just gonna let this off here. So now we've, we've verified that this solution is indeed uh, 1.120 maybe a little less at 1.119. Um, okay. So let's float our tilt in there now and see what, what that's doing. So here we go. We're now floating. Turn this on. I'm gonna bring the app back. And we're gonna to go to black. Now let's see, we're reading 1.117. Okay, so we're pretty close. Let's let it kind of hang out there for a little bit. You might wanna just make sure it's completely floating and... There we go, yeah. It's not hitting the bottom, it's very clear, okay. And so we're gonna to go to the calibration screen for the black, so we're on black. We're gonna to go to the calibration screen now. Now we're gonna get the current gravity. Tap this button. This shows 1.117, which is what you saw before. And we're gonna type in what this known gravity is, which is 1.120, and tap calibrate unknown. Now, we have a calibration of 1.120. And as you can see, the uncalibrated gravity shows 1.117, what we saw before, and it shows the larger text is the calibrated. The 1.117 uncalibrated lets you know what the, um, the raw value you're, you're getting from the tilt. So this, this calibration only applies to this this um, phone right here, because the phone is actually um, interpreting 1.117 as 1.120, and that's what it would do if it was logging. If you wanted to use another device for logging, you would need to enter in the calibration points here to make sure that it's using the same calibration points for logging as it does for what you're viewing here with your phone. Something to keep in mind. Now we have one solution done.